What's up everybody, Tyler here. Today we're going to be playing Clash Royale. And in today's episode, we're going to be unboxing five, six chests. Including two free chests, two silver chests, one gold chest, and one super, um, not super magical, one magical chest. And, um, if you do enjoy this video, be sure to smash that like button. And smash that subscribe button if you're not already. And, um, alright, let's get into this video. I'm going to start off this video by unboxing of the free chest and we need gold spear goblins knight and we're going to unbox another one 37 gold archers fireball we're going to unbox the silver chest now gold telsa goblin hut the other silver chest gold bomber goblin the gold chest so we're like stepping it up gold more gold than before two minion horde tells a arrows and one more card inferno tower nice nice and here's the moment of truth guys the magical chest what could be inside anything hopefully it's something good though all right let's let's see what's inside 424 gold pretty nice let's see what else one giant Hey, all right, all right. Mini Pekka, good, good. Tombstone, all right. Man, I'm getting all rares right now. Goblin Hut, Rocket. All of them are 38 bombers. I use them now, so it's Expo. Yes, yes, Expo. All right, that was pretty nice. Pretty nice. All right. Um, so I'm gonna be showing you some clutch replays now. Pretty clutch, like, I don't even know how I won, but I'm gonna show you the replays. Let's get into the video. And today we're gonna be up against Immortal. And are you sure he's Immortal? I'm pretty sure he's gonna get wrecked. Alright, so let's get into this replay. So first of all, I'm gonna send in my giant, uh, Goblin Hut to the tower. He sends in his skeleton army, but I have nothing to defend off of it, so I'm getting pretty mad right now. That was just a waste of his elixir, but again, skeleton army coming towards that's one shot from the towers, which is pretty nice. Send him my skeleton army to um, take out his his opposing giant and easily take that out. It still has a little bit um, more hit point, but no worries, my minions will clean it up. But again, his bar the barbarians have reached my building, which barbarians do a lot of damage. So this is the part where I thought. There's no one gonna win, but I have my arrows right now. Um, so I know that if he ever spawns like a skeleton army or something, I can easily clean that up. So he's gonna spawn um these small troops, so I can easily arrow those things. Then his musketeer easily. My I should have saved my arrows right for right now, but um, well, skeleton army is pretty easy to take out since my towers actually can reach it. So that'll be. I haven't even taken down one of his buildings, so. I'm pretty mad right now. Send in my prince so we could, they could um, get a hit point. But unfortunately, he drops some um, the barbarians and they take it out. But no worries, I got my musketeer to follow it up and do a little bit more damage to these um, barbarians as well as the giant when he spawns in. But this is the part where I hate that um, the musketeer is focused on the giant and uh, the barbarian takes her out. So that's pretty bad or pretty good. I'm not sure because um, that giant could have did a lot of work on my building. If she had enough, so I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing. I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be doing a dumb move and using my skeleton army as offense. Pretty dumb, but um, for some reason I have no idea how they actually took out his skeleton army and reached it. I think his skeleton army is actually level one, that's why. But we're gonna goblin barrel him and um, do a little bit more damage. He's at 327 now. Uh, not 300, 227 now. No, 237 right now, and um, he's. Lost a lot, quite a bit of um, hit point on it. That's good. Spawn a skeleton army after I send my arrows in, which gets me mad again. But no worries, I'll counter up with the, my skeleton army and take down his prince and his musketeer. And his other musketeer he just spawned right now. Which is probably not the best move on him, but um, as you can see, I goblin barreled him over. Um, goblin, bar goblin barreled him and took out his second tower. But again, look how much hit point I have on my building 340. 44 so 
I know I'm not doing that well right now. With the countdown, he spawns in his witch. So that the witch is um what's called splash damage, so I'm getting pretty scared right now. Um minion horde no not minion horde, regular minions just go in and I have a whole big push. I have like a five, six, seven, eight, eight, um I have fifteen elixir push right now and make that um a nineteen elixir push and easily clutch that how do I I have that much health on my building and how did I take them out? I'm not even sure how this is even possible. Is this real life right now? Alright. Let's get into the next replay. Alright. Next up we have... I have no idea how to pronounce his name. From whatever clan he's in. But all I know is he's going down. He's gonna get wrecked. So, um... First of all, we have a bad... Um... We have a bad startup class. So I'm not really happy with that. But we're gonna set by, I'm um, start up by sending in my skeleton army, um, not skeleton army, my goblins and my prince from the left side and uh, get a few hit points on that on his tower. And already it's at 300, it's already down, his tower's already down, but um, that doesn't mean I'm gonna win, so he's gonna be spawning, spawning in a, um, a goblin hut on the right side, so hate spawner, pe hate people who put spawners, so. Try to counter that as like people never usually look at the skeleton hut, but um not skeleton hut, um goblin hut. But look how much damage that thing has already done. Cause um since skeletons are two hits, people don't really like focus on them. But look, my de my tower is going down pretty quick. So if he puts on a rush, it's he's already taken my tower down pretty. It's already at 650, 1650 gonna spawn my giant in to counter against the baby dragon the giant and everything and um we're gonna need like something good quick so i'm gonna send my prince to take down the giant and the baby dra the baby dragon is murdering doing work on my um giant which he just took it down right now i rolled those small troops and well, since my my tower is focused on the baby dragon which is good and then my um, prince was um doing work on the the knight so very happy that happened even if my tower has low health i'm still pretty happy for that all right i'm gonna spawn in my musk here gonna rush this guy and um he spawns in a cannon but and um i thought he didn't he was not gonna spawn in anything so i was gonna goblin barrel it but by then it was too late already so luckily i have my skeleton army but then he puts down his, uh, the baby dragon which is splash so i'm like i have to take this out quick the baby dragon and my tower is locked onto the to the giant which is terrible and now I got it taken out so I'm pretty mad about that but luckily my um the baby dragon was distracted so I had enough time to put down my skeleton army and then the skeleton army buys me a little bit of time by um focusing on the skeleton army so I could put down my um my musketeer now he is um he had two baby dragons down but um luckily I took it out quickly and now I spawned down my um my skeleton army luckily um the baby dragon is doing too much damage on this if i didn't defend against that i wouldn't i probably wouldn't be able to take it out I, he spawns in another baby dragon so i'm like just i have to rush him i'm not gonna i already know i'm not gonna i think i'm not gonna win so i just rush him right now with um 200 hit point left on my building i'm not like with 131 hit point on my building i'm like there's no way and again look at his building now with the with a clutch skeleton i'm with the clutch goblin, um, spirit goblins, I won. And a long time ago, I said, um, what's it called? Goblins suck. I stand corrected now. They're like, they're so beast. So, yeah. I think that's gonna wrap for this video. Be sure to smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. For more high quality gameplay like this one. And, um, I think this is gonna wrap up this unboxing and clutch replays thanks for watching like comment subscribe share peace